Where is Allison Romady? For more than two decades, investigators in Effingham County have tried to answer that question. The 43-year-old mother was last seen at her home in Rinkin on this day 22 years ago before vanishing without a trace. Her 10-year-old daughter was the last person to see her at that time, and for the first time since then, she is speaking about the case. In a WTOC exclusive, our investigates anchor Haley Boland talked to Allison Romady's daughter about what she remembers the night her mother disappeared. Mike and Don, Mallory Lazuski last saw her mom, Allison Romady, on February 28, 2002. Now, with a daughter of her own, Mallory says she's still hoping to find answers in her mother's case. But it's been 22 years. Like, I, I have a daughter who is going on 14 years old who has never met my mom. Mallory Lazuski shared these photos of her mom, Allison Romady, as she remembers what it was like noticing something was wrong on March 1st, 2002, when she called her mom's office after getting home from school. My mom didn't answer the phone at her desk. It was her boss. And I asked her if I could talk to my mom, and she told me that my mom didn't show up for work. Mallory says she called for help that afternoon and the family reported Allison missing to Rinkin police. Mallory says the last time she saw her mom was at their home the night before on February 28, 2002 at Weisenbaker Place Apartments on Weisenbaker Road. The initial incident report states Romney did not have her cell phone or her medication for multiple sclerosis with her. On March 3rd, investigators found Romney's car less than a mile away from her home at Fair Oaks Lane Apartments on Lisa Street. Investigators say they've suspected foul play from the beginning. Still, more than two decades later, this missing person poster still hangs in the Rinkin Police Department today. There's never been any remains found. There's never been any, any sightings of her. There, there's nothing. There's, it's like she vanished in thin air. She didn't, obviously, we know that. In 2022, Rinkin PD investigators said they were getting close to cracking the case, telling WTOC this. We do have someone that we want to talk to, and um, we have some, I won't call them witnesses, but we have some people that came forward and gave some vital information that we think is going to be extremely helpful. But now, two years later, the city's police chief says that lead didn't pan out. We, we felt pretty confident in that lead and nothing came of it. And uh, so it's, it's real frustrating. It kind of knocks us back a notch every time we go through something like that. Effingham County Sheriff Jimmy McDuffie was the lead investigator on the case when he worked for the Rinkin Police Department. Both agencies in Effingham, along with the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, have been involved with the case. It's a case that I would like to give the family some closure. You know, whether we solve it or not, find out who killed her. If we could just find Allison and give her back to the family, you know, that would be something. Closure, Mallory says she's still hoping to find. My grandma, you know, she had to go to her grave without that closure. My aunt, my mom's sister, the same thing. My papa, the same thing. Like, everybody's gone. They had to go without that closure, without that peace of mind. Now, both Mallory and investigators echoing the same call for tips to solve the case. Whoever either did it or was involved or knows anything, have some mercy. I feel 100% confident that there is someone in this county or that used to live in this county that knows what happened to her, that knows if not exactly where she is, roundabout where she is, or roughly what took place. And we're just begging people to come forward and talk about it. There's a $7,500 reward for any information that could lead to finding Allison or an arrest in the case. If you have any information, you're asked to contact law enforcement. You can stay anonymous. We'll have information on how to submit that in this story on our website. Well, coming up, one local team is playing for a chance.